is everybody today? My name is Jennifer Wolsey and welcome to Wake Up and Makeup. We are going to do a makeup tutorial. So I hope that you are having a great day. <clears throat> We're going to talk a little bit today about what is your big goal? What are you working for in life? We have to pull the hair back because it's already in my face. So we've already done our morning skincare regimen. Asinox Ultimate Face Serum, Eye Serum, and Day Cream because you want to start with a clean, fresh, moisturized palette. And that's going to help your makeup to stay on longer and to look better. Um, VDL Satin Primer is already applied and we are ready to go. So, do you have some dreams that you have been putting on the back burner? Maybe some things that you've wanted to do for a long time and you just haven't found the right time to do it what are you waiting for that seems to be what kind of hit me this weekend i've got things that i've wanted to do whether it be things around your house like i need to repaint all of my baseboards and my door frames what it just is time you know when you walk around and you complain about something, but you never do anything about it, that is my big goal for this week. I know it sounds crazy. Um, maybe it's a goal in business with your family. Maybe you want to have um, set down dinner every night this week. Maybe that's your plan. Cashmere complexion. We're going to use a buttercream. Um, this was this is the liquid foundation that um, is twenty four hour wear. It's going to stay with us all day long. We're just going to put a few spots on here and blend it together. I look like I'm going into war. <sighs> got my battle on. <clears throat> Maybe that's what you got to do to get your goals accomplished this week. So I think sometimes we think that it would be nice to do a million things on our list, but for some reason we hold ourselves back. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it is um, lack of time, but a lot of times when you look at <clears throat> your calendar and the things that you fill your time with, it's not productive things. It's not things that are going to get you closer to your goal. Of course, we live in a different world and a lot of people are having to virtual school their kids and all of those things. <clears throat> The hair. The hair is not wanting to cooperate. But <clears throat> if we have big goals, then why aren't you putting things in place to help you reach those goals? That's my big question. Because what I have found is, we're going to do some magic dust, is I have lots of goals, but if I don't put the small things into place to accomplish them, I better do my eye tattoo before I do that if I don't put the small things in place to happen I'm never gonna get to the big goal so like painting all of my baseboards first thing I have to do is find okay hold on we missed a spot is there we go find the matching color that I need to do it so I'm gonna find that today pick up the paint and the paint brushes and then I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos. We're doing Tattoo Station in brown on best way to do this and not make a huge mess because let's just face it. I am not the most crafty nor handy person in the world. So I'm going to have to go in with some knowledge here to accomplish this goal. So maybe you know what steps you need to take to accomplish your goal. You just choose to hold yourself back. A lot of times when we don't do things that we really want to do, the only person that we have to blame is the person looking back at us in the mirror. Maybe we're investing that time in scrolling Facebook or, you know, grapping or complaining on our phones to our friends and family. If we spent more, less energy doing things like that and more energy doing the little things that we need to get to our goal, guess what? You're going to get there a whole lot faster. So 
I'm going to quit complaining about, now we're going to go in with magic stuff, about how all the paint has rubbed off. My kids have made a mess. I'm just going to do it. Just going to do it. I have some big goals in my business. Oh, I kind of feel like you're preaching to me at the moment. Oh, hey girl, I didn't even know you were here. Welcome. <laughs> Actually, I'm complaining. I'm preaching to myself because I have been complaining for months that I needed my baseboards repainted because Caden, when he is in his wheelchair in the house, he scrapes all of my baseboards and door frames so bad and they're white. And so they need to be fixed. But I've complained about it thinking my husband was going to do it. I've decided he's not. So that's my goal this week is to quit complaining and to do it. We're going to do the So Gorgeous palette. I love this palette. Look at all of those colors. It's still available on my website. So we are going to do this this morning. We're going to go in with these neutral colors, a couple down here. Um, so no, <laughs> maybe you just needed to hear it too. <laughs> I was complaining about myself. I have complained to my sister that my husband wouldn't do it. And she was finally like, um, why don't you just do it? Well, crap. I didn't think about that. I guess to make my goal happen, I'm going to have to just do it. So that is my plan this week is to quit letting everything else fill my schedule and I'm going to get it done. But then I have some goals in my business I'm working for too. This might apply to you. So the only way I'm going to move closer <clears throat> to those goals. Okay, we're going to go in first with this color and I'm going to blend these two colors. That's what I'm going to work my crease with. Um, is to make the plan and do the action. Because I have some pretty lofty goals. But if I don't do the reach outs, I don't do the Facebook lives every day. And share with you guys, guess what? I'm never, ever going to reach my goal. So, just having to calm myself, calm myself out. Do some daily action steps and make it happen. Oh, I love these shades. They are so well pigmented and they look so pretty on my eyes. I don't know if the camera is really getting it. Okay, so our creases are worked. We're gonna go in now. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull these two darker shades down here. <clears throat> ah, don't know why I can't talk this morning. And some Texas allergies. I don't know if you guys deal with those, but OMG, they are killing me. And I'm just gonna work that bottom part of the lid and I'm working it up to that crease line just to blend it well. Can you see that? I don't know that this color is showing as vivid as I want it to. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. So what are your goals? What things do you need to get accomplished? And what steps do you need to take to get there? That is truly the big question because if you're not putting those little steps into place we're going to use liquid liner if you're not putting those little steps into place you're not ever going to reach those big goals love love liquid liner can you see the eyeshadow is it paying off kind of looks splotchy but it's not really that way in person Um, so my goal this week is to get up, to get dressed, and to paint my baseboards. <laughs> I think I can do it in two days if I am committed. Today I have delivery day, so it's not going to happen today, but... <clears throat> I am going to go pick up the paint and the brushes and all of those things that I need to get started tomorrow. 
So instead of doing a makeup live, we may do a painting live tomorrow. You guys may get to watch me. We're going to do Love Mascara Waterproof. You guys may get to watch me paint my baseboards and visit with me. <laughs> How about that? Maybe that will hold me accountable. So what are some painting tips that you guys have? I'm open. Open to any kind of painting tips. Oh, I love this mascara. Every morning I put it on, I'm reminded of how much I love it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have to, I guess I'll have to tape it off since it's baseboards so I don't get it on my wall paint. I didn't even think about that. I guess I'm gonna have to do that. And pray that my kids don't come home from school and bump it again. <clears throat> Why are kids so messy? We work so hard to take care of our stuff. Uh, my mom used to tell me, you're the reason we can't have nice things because I tore everything up. I was a pretty destructive child. But now I hear myself telling my kids that. Do we become our mothers? Does that happen? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do Love um, Foundation and Queen Carnation. Such a pretty color and it looks great on our cheeks. Lay paper for the floors to reduce cleanup. Ah, oh, good tip. Thank you, Sylvia, I'll take it. I will lay paper down for my floor so I don't have to do it. That is a good tip. I'm not a painter. I'm just going to be very honest with you. Sometimes I think there are things, you know what your strengths and your weaknesses are. So you pay thing, pay people to do things that are your weakness. But I just kind of feel like that there's no reason. Oh, my fingernails broke. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do this. So I'm just going to do it. We're just going to pray it turns out good. <clears throat> We're going to use Love Highlighter and Fairly Delilah. I'm just going to kiss the top of our cheekbones. I love this cushion highlighter. It has such great texture for your face. And it also, you can kind of moderate the amount that you put on. And it can kind of be just kind of a gentle kiss on your face. We're going to do Surprise Lip Balm this morning. I love this lip balm. And I think that we have accomplished goal number one, do our makeup. <laughs> so I've got to finish up this hair and get our day started. So whatever your goal is, write it down. Write down the little things that you have to do to make it happen. And do it this week. Quit complaining. Quit putting it off. Make it happen. And when we do something every week, we're going to get closer to a happier life without complaining, right? I learned very quickly I'd rather pay someone to paint my house than doing it. Yeah, I have a feeling that may be happening, but you guys pray for me. Pray for me that this is going to be successful. We'll see. So thanks for getting ready with me. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week and make things happen for yourself. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.